Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, and today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer a domain name from GoDaddy to Namecheap. So you really can transfer your domain from any registrar to any registrar. You know how I feel about GoDaddy if you watch the channel, but hopefully you can learn from this video how the domain transfer process works in general. So that way if you're using another registrar and you want to transfer to somewhere else, you're able to do that. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got GoDaddy up right here. I'm just gonna go to the top right corner. I'm already signed in, so I'll just say my products. Now I'll scroll down and we can see the domain expires in 35 days, so we're good to transfer it. If this number says seven days or less for you, I would highly recommend renewing the domain at GoDaddy first or your current registrar. As much as that sucks, if you transfer a domain name that has less than seven days before it expires, you risk the domain expiring while it's in the transfer process and then your whole website is down. If you did not know this, when you transfer a domain name, you're actually adding a year of time to the registration. But unfortunately, if it's less than seven days, I would renew it at GoDaddy first and then transfer it. Then at least your domain will be valid for two years. I'm just gonna scroll down and where it says domains, I will click my domain. Now there's two things that we need to do to transfer this domain. First, we need to turn off the domain transfer lock. And with GoDaddy, that is right at the bottom of the page here. I can see domain lock, it says on. I'm just gonna click edit change this to off. And yes, I consent to unlock the selected domains, click continue. And now that our domain lock is off or it says pending update, maybe I'll refresh the page here. Yep, so now the domain lock says off. Once you have your domain transfer lock off, there's another thing you need to do and that's get the auth code. Auth code is sort of like a password. It's what tells the new registrar, hey, this person has the appropriate permission to transfer this domain name from this company to you. And in order to get that, I'm just gonna look over here where it says transfer domain away from GoDaddy. I'll click this. Uh, it's gonna try and scare us and say, hey, you don't need to transfer, but that's because they want to keep your business. You wanna transfer your domain out, so you'll just say, continue with transfer. And I'll say, click here to see authorization code. It looks like they've also sent it to my email address. I'll just say, copy to clipboard. Now we can go over to Namecheap or whichever registrar you are transferring to, and you're gonna to want to look under domains and find where it says domain transfer. I will just put the URL here, crayler.online, and click transfer. And we can see it says current registrar is GoDaddy, domain is unlocked, so we're good to go. So I'm just going to agree to the terms here, paste the authorization code, and say verify auth code. Looks like we're good. So we can add this to cart, view cart. Once you're in the cart, there's not anything we need to do here. Thankfully, they have auto renew disabled by default. Namecheap is the real MVP. I can't stand when sites have auto renew checked by default, but everything here looks good. I'm just gonna click confirm order. And I'm gonna create a new Namecheap account. If you already have one, you can just log in, but I will just fill in those details. And now I'm just gonna put in my address and personal info. Now that I've got my personal info inputted, I'll just click continue. And now it's time for your payment method. I'm gonna get all my payment details in here and go on to the next step. Once you get your payment info in, you're good to click continue. All right, so I've continued to the next step. It looks like the domain transfer process is initiated. So from here, you can expect to get some emails from GoDaddy. They're likely gonna send you an email saying, hey, this registrar requested to transfer your domain. If we don't hear from you in X amount of days, we'll release that domain. This whole process can take five days, sometimes even more. You can see right here, it says transfer will begin shortly. Uh, we can refresh the status, but 
that's not gonna change yet. If you have any questions, do be sure to leave a comment down below, or you could join my Discord server at crayler.co slash Discord. It's free to join. You can ask your questions there about your domain transfer process, and I or other people in the community would be happy to answer them and help you out. If you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time.